My name is Rick Smith. I'm the executive director of the Broadbent Institute. BPA and BPS are some of the most commonly manufactured chemicals on the planet. The, these chemicals are used in any number of consumer products that we would, uh, we would buy and use every day. But there's no question that, uh, that the main source of BPA and BPS in our daily lives are cash register receipts. If you're a cashier on a four hour shift or more and you're handling these, these, these cash register receipts on a minute by minute basis, and you're doing this uh, every day of your working life, your levels, uh, your body levels of these chemicals are gonna be through the roof. Uh, this is a particular concern for women and for young women who might be pregnant or are thinking about getting pregnant because we know these chemicals are estrogen mimicking chemicals. So once they're, once they're in, in, in our bodies, they, they wreak havoc. If you're a big company using these chemicals uh, in something like your cash register receipts, you don't need to wait for governments to move. You should be moving right now to uh, protect your consumers, protect your employees. About, uh, about 10 years ago, uh, the Canadian government decided that the BPA was such a problem that it was gonna ban that chemical from certain types of children's products things like baby bottles, children's toys. So BPA is gone from all of those products by law in Canada and in many countries around the world. So the fact that our laws still allow these chemicals to be used in, in products like uh, cash register receipts that millions of Canadians would be touching every day is just crazy. Uh, and we need to move as quickly as possible to get BPA and BPS out of these remaining products that uh, are in the lives of all Canadians.